What did one hat say to the other hat? You stay here. I'll go on ahead. Give me five minutes of your time and I'll teach you how to write a pun. Sorry, what's a pun? Puns are a clever way to make language more entertaining by creating humour through wordplay. This toy is perfect for cats. Shoe shop manager given the boot. Missing dog is spotted. Well, thanks for solving that mystery, Sherlock. As silly as puns seem, you'll need to use plenty of brain power to think of them. A combination of creative and logical thinking. That smirk, that sigh, that giggle, and that eye roll that follows a good pun is richly deserved. So let me share some of my tips on how to create them. Let the pun begin. Puns are used in jokes. This book about anti-gravity is just impossible to put down. Puns are also frequently used in adverts. They're used in greetings cards. In shop names. And puns are used in newspaper and blog headlines. Extra, extra, read all about it. Sometimes a pun will jump straight into our heads, but at other times, thinking of them can be a bit of a challenge. So what can we do if this happens? Well, imagine that we've written a news report about a farmer's prized sheep that has been stolen on Christmas Day. And we need to come up with an engaging headline that hooks our readers. We're going to kick things off by creating a collection of words and phrases that are connected to our story. We now have the ingredients to cook up a good pun. We'll begin by examining these words for homophones. Homophones? When two words sound alike but are spelt differently and have different meanings, we call them homophones. Like flower and flower, weak and weak, and pear and pear. Puns often take advantage of these sneaky sound alikes to create clever and funny wordplay. When a clock is hungry, it goes back four seconds. When mum noticed her grey hair, she thought she'd die. Marathon runners with bad footwear suffer the agony of defeat. Let's identify some homophones in our bank of words. There's quite a few. Even though feliz is a Spanish word, I've got an idea on how I can use this in a headline. I'll also produce a headline using this homophone and this song.
Fleece Navidad, the bazaar Christmas Day heist. Nothing heard in the silent night. Homographs are words that share the same pronunciation, the same spelling, but have different meanings, like bat and bat, bark and bark, wave and wave. When you use a word that means different things, you can create an amusing pun. The teacher wore sunglasses because his students were so bright. A boiled egg in the morning is hard to beat. Are there any homographs in our bank of words? Ah, yes, a crook is a thief, and it's also the stick that a shepherd uses. Let's write a headline using that pun. The crook with the crook. A third way to create puns is to change well-known names and sayings. These could come from movies, books, quotes, songs, idioms, celebrities. Have a look at these examples. Is there anything in our word bank that we can use? Ah, yes. I think these two can be changed into a pun. Bar humbug. Farmer's sheep snatched on Christmas Day. All I want for Christmas is you. So we've used homophones, homographs, and names and sayings to create our own puns. Which is your favourite headline? Add it to the comments below.